well today uh, and I hope everybody had a lovely Thanksgiving um, I wanted to do this video that's been going around YouTube and it is my collection of Christmas as well as winter themed coloring books I'll be honest I don't have as many as a lot of other people in the YouTube coloring sphere but that's completely fine. I think I have more than enough. Frankly, I will n probably never be able to finish these books in my lifetime. So I don't think I'll be purchasing any more holiday themed books. So I just wanted to share. Um, overall, I have seven winter slash Christmas books and I have one honorable mention that I will show in the end. And I'll kind of talk about why it's an honorable mention when we get there but yeah overall seven books plus the one potentially miscellaneous and yeah let's hop and trot on in the first book i'm going to talk about is my rita berman winter book i love this i, I just love anything that she does it's an auto buy for me and i had this last year so i did do some work in it um not as much as i would like to but it's her standard really beautiful i did this this july for christmas in july really like how that came out there's some also black partial black backgrounds but i know i'm flipping to all the pages i haven't done but i swear <laughs> i've worked in this book so really really beautiful oh this one that i started so i guess it's a whip but yeah i'm excited to do more in here this winter it's a great book for buddy coloring i feel like a lot of people um, have this book this was also I guess Christmas in July, but I finished it in August. <laughs> um, it just takes me a while to finish some of these pages, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's a lot of, um, this is more like New Year. So it's a lovely book. If you were thinking about getting it, I would highly, highly recommend it. Honestly, anything by Rita Berman, like I said, auto buy, huge thumbs up for me. And also, I will definitely link everything down below, everything that I could find. <laughs> but this is beautiful. Again, great for buddy, and co buddy colors because people tend to have this one. And then moving on to a Christmas book. This is A Million Christmas Cats, The Festive Felines, Festive Felines to Color by John Bigwood. So even though it's a million blah, 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 it's not a um, May You book. Is it May you? I think she's the one that does the a million, like a million sloths, million bears. So I am in love with this book. Oh my, there was a little, I guess there was a little squishy squish and some of the color transferred. Whatever, we'll fix it. But I really enjoy this book. The pictures are a little bit bigger. I guess this is a little one more, a bit more detailed, but they're just so fun and they're so stinking precious. The paper isn't on the nicer side. It's definitely not Amazon printed. I don't think you can use alcohol markers though. I would definitely still stick to either water-based or pencils. I tend to use pencils in here. Really beautiful. So some are more patterny like this one. Some are more like, look at this. I love it. Oh, this is my Christmas tree of cats that I did last year. And like, for example, I finished this in January. So even though it's a Christmas book, whatever, you know, can work on it in other times as well. So really precious, definitely a lot of cats. <laughs> but something like this would be probably super fast to do because it is bigger areas. Some are more detailed like this. Oh, I would love to do this one. Um, holiday markets are like my favorite thing. <laughs> and now that I'm living in Germany, you know, they're notorious for the Christmas markets. They're amazing. Um, unfortunately, last year they were closed due to the Rona. And this year um, they opened, but I think they're slowly being closed. So, yeah. This book does have a lot of double page spreads so do keep that in mind because maybe you're like me and you're not really a fan of double page spreads but you know you could it could just be something that you work on all season long really really precious book i haven't really seen anything else by this artist 
Maybe I should look into it because I do really enjoy this one. Then moving on to a completely miscellaneous purchase <laughs> for me. So one of my friends and I decided we wanted to knit this winter because let's be honest, we're going to go into another lockdown. It's already starting here. So we wanted like a winter project to work on. So we decided we're going to knit. So we went to an art supply store, kind of like, I guess, kind of like a Michael's in the States. And we got our knitting supplies. And of course I ended up in the art section, like for coloring books, because it's me. And they had this cutie pie there. And it's just really easy Christmas pictures. And I'm in love. Like some are much easier than others. Like I think this is more detailed. They are double-sided, so I don't know if alcohol markers are really feasible. But if you know, if you're okay with sacrificing the other side of the page, but I think it's going to be so fun. There was some really cute ones that I like was flipping to, and I was like, "Yep, like come on." So I really enjoy this one. I haven't colored in it yet because I did get it only a couple weeks ago and I wanted to wait closer to the official holiday season. But yeah, like, come on. <laughs> and this book is definitely aimed at children, hence why it's Christmas tree shaped, but I don't care. Um, I think these would be super fun. This was my favorite one, because I just think he looks so stinking cozy. Um, but yeah, there's also a cute little ice skating pig. I'm just really excited to color in this I think will be easy breezy so I don't know if I'll be able to link this one because again I did get it in store here but I will do my best I'll try to find it online let's see if there is a website anywhere oh it's also yeah children creative oops that's okay child at heart <laughs> yeah I don't see a website linked anywhere but I will try to find it online because this book is really cute and the paper is nicer than like Amazon printed paper, but it's still definitely no cardstock and it definitely could not handle alcohol markers without bleed through. But moving on, I have my George Tufex's Christmas Color by Number by Creative Haven. And I've actually done more in this book than I thought I did. Um, I like did a random count a while ago and I was like oh like okay like cute girl you've actually colored in this because <laughs> as you know the George Defex's books take some time to work on because they're so detailed but yeah I've definitely done my fair share there's some horizontal some vertical pages let's see what else I've done I've done this one this one so I think this is my most colored in book from him and I own a like like six maybe of his books too much but that's fine I did this one in Christmas in July um but yeah I'm a huge fan of his work it's also an auto buy for me when I see that he has released something I have his newest one which is the around the world that came out in the summer I think he's announced another one but it's a pre-order and I don't want to pre-order anything like really far in advance because I don't know like if I'm gonna move or anything like that. So, but yeah, this book is wonderful. You know you can trust Creative Haven and George Tufexis to just, you know, kick some booty when it comes to their coloring books. Let's see how many pages there are. I think it's like 40, 40, oh, it's more than 40. Oh my, 45, is it 45? 45 46 okay there are 46 images I definitely am not at the halfway point <laughs> uh, but I still think I've done a fair share in here and I'll continue to do so in these books I like to use my Stadler dual-sided water-based markers because it's nice to have the chiseled like the the petite end to color the smaller details, but then you also have the bigger edge for like, let's see, like larger surfaces here. It can be streaky because it's a water-based marker, but you know, you just kind of deal with it. Like here there's streaks in the moon, but I'm okay with it because they're mostly in the same direction. And frankly, it's just about the experience. And this book is fun. It's really, really nice. I kind of wish you would come out with another 
um, Christmas book or a winter book because he has like, for example, autumn scenes that I own. <laughs> um, but I don't think he has a winter scenes and that would be a nice one. Um, uh, moving on to uh, Coloring Heaven magazine. This is the cu cutesy Christmas special. This is the one from last year. So it's not this one, not this year's. This is issue 68. And I have not colored in this yet. I haven't even like broken the spine here. I bought this this summer. I didn't realize they had an Etsy store. So when I discovered that, I picked up two. I picked up this one and the Fairy Tale Special by Fabiana Tanasio. And I just haven't had a chance to color in this yet because it just hasn't been the season. I wanted to wait until it was actually Christmassy. But yes, I'm super excited. I like that these are single-sided. Um, I'm not a huge alcohol marker colorer. Um, I tend to stick to alcohol markers to like mandalas, but it's still nice in case I wanted to get creative with it. Oh, there's an advent calendar. That's good to know. I did not know that. As you can see, I didn't even like fully flip. Um, I'm also excited to color these. These are by Mariola Budek because I've never actually colored anything grayscale. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I think if it works out and I enjoy it, I will maybe pick up one of her books. There's also Hannah Lynn in the back. I've never colored any Hannah Lynn pictures, in all honesty, don't own anything by her. So I'm just excited. I love the fact that these magazines combine so many different artists because it gives you an opportunity to try something out that you might not have. Oh, there's a little fox in here. This one, Huga Fox Girl. This is my favorite picture in this book. I don't know what it is about it, but she looks so cozy with her hot cup of cocoa, coffee, I don't know. Let's say it's hot wine. So, and there's also her companion. I'm excited. I just think it's going to be lovely. I am filming this on the Friday after Thanksgiving, so on Black Friday. I'm not ready to jump onto my Christmas coloring yet. I think I'm gonna wait until December starts, but this is definitely a front runner for you know things I want to color in. The next book was kind of an oopsies buy in the sense that I'm supposed to be on a no buy right now, but I saw this and it was just too cute. And I just love a compilation book, like a collection of, so this is the Christmas collection by Tatiana Stolova Bogima, Bogima Stolova, yes. <laughs> um, and it combines the nice little town Christmas and Christmas too, as well as nice little town Santa's Village and there's five additional images in here. So this book, you know, she's thick. It's, it's a big book <laughs> and this is what I mean. Like I could probably absolutely never in my life complete all of these pages it's it's a lot but i'm i love this book i haven't worked in it yet because i bought it like last week but it's so sweet and precious like look at this page but um also there's quite a range of imagery in here so you have something like this it's just buildings you have something like this you know and it's just it's so unique, it's so sweet. Also, there's so much to choose from, you know. It's a lot of pages and there are no duplicates. Everything's a unique image. And it's just, it's it's lovely. I don't have anything else by this artist and therefore I was really happy to get my hands on a compilation book because I feel like that way I get to experience a lot of it. But also I feel like certain pictures like this one, are not necessarily Christmas. Like, yeah, there might be like a bell here, a little greenery, but I feel like a lot of people, me included, would have that around like all winter. So I, f I definitely see myself coloring in this into January and February. You know, it's cold here for a while after December. So yeah, I really like this. I'm excited. All the pages are single-sided, so you can use your alcohol markers. Some of the pages are probably too detailed, like this here is probably too detailed for the alcohol markers. 
but maybe something like this isn't. So there's definitely a range in here. There's something for absolutely everybody. And I'm just really excited. Like I said, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I dive into my Christmas books, but this is so on the list of things I want to work in. Yeah. But I also foresee some of these pages taking me a while, like something like this, just because there's so many little things happening that I think it's going to take me a bit, but that's fine. It could be a project page that just sits on my desk and I just walk, work on it for a while. And the last official quote unquote uh, Christmas book I have is Lines Coloring Book Christmas by Jennifer Rowling. So this was a book that I talked about in one of my, or it was the upcoming Christmas coloring book releases or the newly released Christmas books. I can link it so you can check that out. I talked about, I think 10 books and this was one of them. And after I talked about it, I was like, you know what? I would really like to own that. So I ended up snagging it up and I just like Jennifer Rowling uh, books. I've actually completed one of them. I think it was Adorable Animals that I completed. But yeah, it's really nice. It's all just lines. So for example, this is one I did this month. And I know I was just saying that I'm not ready for Christmas coloring, but I really just wanted to test out this book. So I did this in a Stadler um, dual-sided marker, which I really enjoyed. There are, let's see how many images. Oh, there's some extras in the back from some of the other books, in case you're interested. But let's see, there are a total of 28, 29, 30. So there's a total of 30 pages in here, plus the extras. So I think I'll be able to get a good amount of pictures done in here this winter because they're fun, they're relaxing. You need one marker so this would be great if you have to go somewhere you have like maybe a doctor's appointment and you have to sit around and wait so i definitely see myself working a lot in here and i'm just really happy to have it i love jennifer rolling stuff i want to say that's another like basically almost um not almost buy <laughs> almost always an auto buy for me and then the honorable mention as promised is my creative haven Happy Home, a Huga coloring book by Jessica Mazurkovics. And this is an honorable mention because it's not anywhere stated that this is a winter book. It's definitely not a Christmas book, but all of the images in here are so like comfy, warm, cozy that I couldn't imagine coloring this in the summertime. It's just, I mean, maybe this one, but in general, like this, is not a summer scene for me. So this is a book, uh, this is a page I did a long time ago, well, September of last year. But there's just like blankets and hot beverages and old images. So like this would be a great Thanksgiving page, you know? Um, but there's like cinnamon everywhere. And it's just, to me, this is a winter book. So that's why I wanted to mention it. But yeah, nowhere does it say that it has to be a winter book. But to me, it's a winter book. So I actually did a page in here this month. I'm not gonna show you, I'll save that for the wrap up. But I really like this book. It's a book I just continue going back to. They are single-sided in typical Creative Haven fashion. For example, this is one that I did last year, yeah, January. And yeah, it's super streaky. I mean, I can see that too. You know, no worries, I can see it. <laughs> but I remember doing this page and I had a blast. Like something about this page, I was like, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Yes, the background looks like caca, but I had a great time with it. I used alcohol markers. This was a straight alcohol marker color, which I literally never do. I think this is the only time I have ever done a full just alcohol marker coloring of a page with no pencils, nothing. The only time I ever do that is on mandalas. So I was just trying it out. You know, I even did some really bad shading here. I just, I just played around with it. Yes, it does seep through, but who cares? They're single sided. So I always say I would highly recommend this book. 
it's sweet, it's precious. Also, if you have some time, I would highly recommend looking into what Huga is and kind of, it's just an, it's a skin, it's a Dutch, Danish, Danish word. Um, and I think it's really interesting to read about it. So that was it. Those were my seven books and my one honorable mention. <laughs> Again, I will link everything down below. Hopefully I'll be able to find the Christmas tree shaped book, but no promises on that one. But I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.